In this video we're going to explore how to add and change tolerances as well as the linear precision and apply a general tolerances table to this drawing here in Autodesk Inventor 2025. To start off we're going to go ahead and look at the overall dimensions the 5 inches, the 3 inches, and the 2 inches and we're going to go ahead and if we're running any other commands or anything like that we can always right click and say escape or cancel but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to double left click on the 5 inch dimension by default your text box may look something like this so at the tabs at the top I'm going to change over to precision and tolerance we're going to choose a symmetric extrusion or a symmetric uh, tolerance I should say and we're going to go ahead and, and do a 0.1 for the measurement and then go ahead and select OK and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that same process to all the other particular outside dimensions that we have going on in order to make that happen. Alright, next uh, tolerance we're going to add is going to be the one inch measurement from the front edge to the center of the block, which is where most of our whole centers are going to be lining up along. I'm going to double left click on the one inch mark. On the tolerant, precision tolerance and the model value, we're going to go with a limits stacked. And we're going to go ahead and change the upper to 1.03 and leave the lower at 1.00. And we're going to select OK. Now it's worth noting that we're not going to be having like the horizontal measurements in here just to kind of keep things cleaner and just to show some demonstration purposes. Alright, our next point is going to bring us to our whole notes. So our first whole note here is going to allow us to see kind of how things are going. So I'm going to go ahead and double left click on this particular case. Notice how on a whole note the format's just a little bit different and the menu doesn't show up quite as clean as what it does for a regular dimension. But what we can do is we can click on this pencil called Precision and Tolerance. And what it does is it shows some, some family characteristics as far as what you have set. If you don't like what they have written or you need to change what they have in there, uncheck Global Pre Precision. And here you can also change some of the things like what primary um, number of significant figures that you have for each measurement or anything like that. I like a lot of what's there. This looks like a good whole note, but you can also hit the little double arrows and you can also add tolerances this way. So again, we're not making necessarily any tolerances to that first counter bore, uh, but what we are going to go ahead and take a look at, I'm going to say OK and OK, is the second one. So I'm going to double left click on the countersink, precision and tolerance. This one here we're going to apply. I'm going to uncheck global precision and we're going to go ahead and check it our upper is going to be 0 0.002 or two thousandths. It's a symmetric tolerance and we're going to go ahead and apply a three decimal precision because otherwise the 0 0.002 is not going to show up. And I'll say OK and OK and what you're going to see is there is that particular measurement showing up and being represented in our hole. Map. Same kind of scenario for a through hole. Double click on it, precision and tolerance so note the tolerances, what kind that we have, 0 0.002, and then you know what level of precision that they should be that they should be at. So we'll go with three decimal places on each one, and we'll say OK and OK, and there's our tolerance applied. Our last specific tolerance that we have to set up, if I double left click on, if I change out, double left click on the dimension, then I can go ahead and uncheck global precision. On the counter bore diameter, I actually want to change that precision to three decimal places. So I'm going to do that for both the primary and the alternate. And I also want to add a tolerance. So, and that tolerance will be a deviation. We're going to go 0 0.003 and 0 0.000. And again, we want to make sure to change that level of tolerance to show as well. Say OK, say OK, and now we can see that tolerance being applied to that specific dimension. My last, <clears throat> my last portion is going to involve creating a general tolerances table. 
And with that, I'm going to go ahead on this annotate tab. We're going to go up to grab under the table command. We have general. I'll go ahead and click. We're going to do an empty table. We're going to have two columns. And here we're going to go ahead and just have three rows. And we'll go ahead and select OK. It's going to give me a case. I'm going to go ahead and click on for the cursor. And if I double click on the table, uh, I can see I have some different column choosers and everything. But if I right click and choose edit table style, then I'm going to go ahead and make a change to the title rather than it just being table. We'll go and add general tolerances. And then go ahead and so, so, select save and close. I'm going to double click on the, the option again. I'm going to go up here to the column chooser. And I'm going to say new column. Click to add the property. And what I can do is put in, this is going to be linear dimensions. Hit enter. To add another property, angles. And hit enter. Select OK. I'm going to go ahead and move column 2, remove it, and column 1. And I'm going to go ahead and reorder. I want to move up the linear dimensions so that way they show first. And I can say OK. And I can go ahead and say OK. So there's what the new table's looking like so far. Now, in order for Inventor to take some of these symbols, I'm actually going to copy and paste them from the document. So I'm going to go over here. I went and copy and pasted them there. If I double click on the table inside of the cells, I can right click to paste. That one looks pretty good. Other than that, I probably need to get a little bit of room, get rid of a little bit of the room between that and the, the X point XX. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this above, Control C and Control V. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to point, point 0.01 and add another level of, of uh, precision. Same thing here. This is going to be 0 .005 and we're going to add X and X. Now the other thing too is I'm going to go ahead and highlight for the angles. I'm going to highlight that and then click inside and Control V, Command V and that's going to add our angles and I'm just going to go ahead and say apply. That looks pretty good. I'm going to select OK if I select my table, I can go ahead and lengthen that out a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I'm able to reposition my table into the bottom right hand corner of the drawing. Just like how we see. So if you need to make some adjustments, you can always grab those lines or grab the overall size of the table and change it. But this concludes how to add tolerances into an engineering drawing in Autodesk Fusion. And to be able to send off various details as well as specifications for how parts should be manufactured.